welcome to Table Talk with Toddy, a podcast for millennials designed to motivate, inspire, and educate you on what it really takes to live a real life on purpose. This isn't your typical podcast. You can count on me to keep it real, funky, and relatable here on Table Talk with Toddy. to a part where I know for a fact most entrepreneurs struggle with at some point in time in their careers. And I want to say more specifically women because we are naturally nurturers and we naturally want to help people. We naturally want people to feel good. Um, And so a lot of times, most times in businesses, especially when we're starting out and we're not very clear on um, what we're doing or we're not confident in our ability to charge, we tend to undercharge. And that ends up leaving you frustrated, not to mention broke, but you can't build your business if you are not charging um, based on the time and the investment that you're spending um, in your business. So I want to share with you something. I did a broadcast earlier this year on Periscope about three realities to face with about charging when you're worth. So the first thing is what you allow is what will continue, right? So for example, I use, if you went to an all you can eat buffet on Sunday and the food was so good, you kept going back, but they didn't charge you for all of the extra meals. Most of us would keep going back to that place because they're not making you pay. So you're in a sense taking advantage. This is what happens in business. When you don't charge what you what you're worth and you discount people all the time, when you do get confident enough to raise your rates, those same people who you kept discounting, they're not going to want to pay your new rates. They're not going to see your worth because you kept letting them come back to the buffet for free and you let kept letting them come back at a discounted rate so anyone on this planet you're going to keep going back until you are made to pay what you're worth um the second reality to face is that everyone is looking for ways to save money therefore if they can squeeze value from you and your business without coming out of pocket they will that kind of piggybacks off of the first point that i just made C, people won't see your worth. You have to show and tell them. Um, So this is why it's also important to make sure that you're continuously building and learning um, and perfecting your craft because, you know, obviously people aren't going to pay if you don't know what you're talking about. People aren't going to pay if you can't provide them a solution or give them some results. Um, So people have to see you show and tell them what you're worth. Um, The second reality to face is you have to just be sick and tired of being sick and tired of being broke. Bottom line, and this is where the line was drawn for me and my business. You know, I got tired of, you know, being overworked. I was spending my all of my time um, on other people's projects, but I wasn't the, the money that I was getting paid paid maybe one bill. And then I was juggling tons of projects that I could have very well charged one or two people what I should have charged them, a premium rate, and not have to spend as much hours. And so it's important that you, you know, you just have to be sick and tired of it. Because for a long time, I kept saying, I'm not going to give them a discount anymore. I'm going to keep on, I'm going to charge these rates, and I'm going to be firm on it. And if they don't buy it, then they just won't. Here's why, the reason why we don't charge what we're worth. This is the number one reason. The number one reason is because as an entrepreneur, especially if you're just starting out or you have a fairly new business, you're just trying to make ends meet. And so you see it as any money is better than no money. That is the worst thing you can think when you're building a business. Because you'll always just be working to pay a bill and you'll never be working um, to have more than enough to pay your bill and be financially free and and have the ability to travel, spend more time with your family, and do the things that you know ultimately um, pursued you, caused you to pursue entrepreneurship in the first place. Um, so that is the second reason, and the third reason is it starts at your decision to be firm and consistent. So you have to be firm. So when you get sick and tired of being broke, you'll eventually decide to be firm and continuously charge your premium rate so that you can live the new American dream, which is entrepreneurship. Um, 
charging with your work. Another thing that's important is that people don't want to have a hard time paying you. So you want to make sure that it's easy to get paid. So this is where, you know, having a PayPal or Stripe account uh, comes into play. You know, having a card reader in your clutch, in your purse, so that you can always accept payments on spot. Um, And another thing is automating your business. And we talk about this a lot in, you know, building email lists. And we'll probably talk about it a few more times. But, you know, if you have a product or service that has a flat fee or the price is the same for every client and you don't have to customize anything, make sure that it is available directly on your website because this cuts back on time spent, you know, corresponding, going back on phone calls and emails and all that stuff. So this is really important to know when charging what you're worth because you won't be in business long if you keep undercharging and giving discounts.